Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson at BamaInsider.com. Just in, this is breaking news. Najee Harris, Brian Robinson, Terrell Lewis, and Devontae Smith will all miss either one quarter or the entire half against the Duke Blue Devils. This is coming in. There, there's been reports we've been able to confirm with sources that those four players will be missing either the first quarter or the first half. So what does it this exactly mean? I think it's a strong statement by Nick Saban that no matter if you're a senior or a junior, wherever you are on this team, you cannot break team rules. You cannot miss team meetings. And it's a strong message for the number two ranked team in the country going into this weekend's game against Duke. Now, this story is just developing. Nick Saban will speak on Wednesday evening and without question, we'll be able to get a statement from Nick Saban regarding these four players missing either a quarter or a half against the Duke Blue Devils. Stay with BamaInsider.com as this story is just developing. Again, Najee Harris, Brian Robinson, Terrell Lewis, and Devontae Smith will all be out against Duke either for a quarter or halftime. So what does this mean for the running back position? Well, it looks like Keelan Robinson along with Jerome Ford are going to get a handful of carries to open up that game. And Keelan Robinson, I mean, a freshman coming in, it looks like four freshmen can now get the starting role for the Crimson Tide against Duke. Jerome Ford looks to be close to 100% health after suffering an ankle injury during the second scrimmage. And Terrell Lewis, I mean, with him going out, who's going to step up behind him? Paging maybe King Makuda and um, some of these younger guys that can step up. I mean, when you're looking at the depth chart that Alabama provided, right behind Terrell Lewis is actually Christopher Allen, who I think, you know, has looked good over fall camp. And then behind Devontae Smith, um, you're probably going to have Terrell Shavers. And I know a lot of people have been really excited about Terrell Shavers and what he can do. So maybe you're going to see some early splashes of Mr. Shavers come the opener against Duke. This is just breaking news, and we'll get more to you as soon as we can. But reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this is Kyle Henderson, BamaInsider.com.